Burgers might be our number one takeaway, but pizzas aren't far behind. In the UK, we spend nearly five billion pounds on them every year. In fact, we love them so much that the average Brit will eat just over 730 pizzas in their lifetime. There are thousands of pizza takeaways in the UK, but the biggest is Domino's, with 1,126 outlets and a globally recognisable brand that's become part of our everyday lives. Thanks to high-profile tie-ins like The Simpsons TV Show, which eventually spawned this advert, cementing the association between Domino's and TV's most famous family. They might not be Homer and Marge, but my super tasters certainly love a pizza. I think the first time we ever went out for food, we went for pizza. If we could have it at a wedding, we would. That's some good dominoes. Our firstborn will be called pizza. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Texas, Texas barbecue. Texas barbecue. <laughs> Pepperoni passion, you know? <laughs> We're just waiting for our pizza. Ooh. I love a pizza, but I like a pizza takeaway more. I think the secret in the takeaway pizza would probably be the dough. I think it's yeah. the dough. It's different. We 100%. can't replicate it. From no, way. no way. No way. Well, that definitely sounds like a challenge. Oh. Don't drop it. I'll try. I've sent Emma and Ryan a DIY pizza kit that could lift the lid on the secrets of their favourite takeaway. Hashtag frying pan pizza. This box comes from Pizza Pilgrims, and during lockdown, they started sending out cook-at-home kits, which are meant to provide a restaurant-style pizza without leaving your house. Now, these DIY kits are available from other companies, and you could always buy a base and toppings yourself, but this one has a few tricks up its sleeve. So they gave us all the different elements of it. Hashtag pizza in the box. To make things interesting, I want them to compare this pizza with their favourite takeaway. So that means a quick phone call. Hi there, I was just wondering if I could order a pizza for delivery, please. Um, could we grab the medium pizza with two sides deal? Uh, could we grab the meteor, please? Or should yeah. we get a garlic bread as well? Maybe we'll get garlic bread as well. Yeah, OK, we'll, gra yeah, we'll grab a garlic bread. 45 minutes. Oh, few, okay. Perfect. Bye. <laughs> yes. Right, um, 45 minutes. 45 minutes. So, can these two make their own pizza before the takeaway arrives? The clock is ticking. Labelled them all. Is it dough? Is it dough? It is dough. Uh-huh. Right, cover it in the flour. Roll it around the flour. Uh, it's just an, a nightmare to stretch it out without making it into a thin shape. Be a bit more loving. Yeah, a bit tenderness. more loving. Perfect. For a child. It only takes a few minutes to stretch out the base. Pretty standard stuff, but the next step is different. The pizza goes into a frying pan. You can lift it. I won't get yeah, This off. is where it's going to go wrong for me now. Ooh! OK. It doesn't even say what heat, does it? The idea here is that the base will start to crisp in the pan whilst you add the toppings. One little e Maybe spell your name out. I don't think so. Look at that. Jamie Oliver would be impressed. The DIY kit comes in two varieties. This one is spicy Nduja sausage. Time for the Nduja. 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 Oh, yeah. Do you reckon something like that? We've outdone ourselves, though. I'm going to grab that other little spoon. You lift it up. A little trick with the pizza, I believe, that if you can scratch it, it and it makes that sort of noise what it just made, it means that it's cooking. Right. Next step is to put it in the grill. Under the grill. I think five minutes under there and that's going to be done. Because the base is nearly done, the grill only needs to cook the top of the pizza. That looks banging. I think that's ready, you know. Ooh la la. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, there we went. <laughs> it's taken them 35 minutes, exactly the same amount of time. Oh, that's the Domino's. Oh, good timing. Wait. As their takeaway. But which one will they prefer? We got the dominoes. That was quite a good timing, to be fair. That was literally spot on. Yeah. At the same time as we were cutting it. With both pizzas side by side, which one will come out on top? From appearance, dominoes. What do you think? But I'm intrigued to try that because we yeah, made I'm it. Yeah, I'm very intrigued to try this. I think this oh, has come out. It does look good. Look at it. Doesn't look too far off. I reckon that one is my name on it. Go for it. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. That's delicious. Mm. I would not complain if this was served to me. Mm. Such a light dough. Mm. I disagree. I think the dough's really thick. Do you? Yeah, I can really taste the dough. Out of ten? That's probably a solid eight out of ten for me. Solid eight? Yeah. I don't want to be a Debbie Downer. This is six and a half for me. Six and a half? Very spicy. Not enough mozzarella. Should we try right. the Domino's? I think it's time for the Domino's. 
And their dough is more bready. 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 Bready to eat. It's bready to eat. All right, cheers. Ching, ching. Let's go. That is elite. That's 11 out of 10. For sure, but mm. I really don't think ours is far off. 6.5, 11. I think if we were to put more cheese on that, I think you'd, you'd probably sway look towards ours. I think that's far off. They taste different. Emma and Ryan are big pizza fans. I know in particular Emma is a big fan of takeaway pizza. I think takeaway pizza always tastes so good because they're cooked really quickly using commercial or wood-fired ovens. But I've got a hack to copy that takeaway flavour. I'm cooking two simple margarita pizzas. One goes into a normal oven, and for the other, I'm going to use my secret weapon. I've got what's called baking steel. It's a very thick piece of steel, very heavy, which has been sitting in this oven for about an hour in the hottest temperature here, which is 270. But what's that gonna do is the moment I put my pizza on there, it's gonna start cooking it from the bottom. And turning the grill on will start cooking my toppings from the top. It's on the higher setting. So you're actually getting what a pizza oven should be doing. <laughs> Four and a half minutes later, and the pizza cooked on the steel is ready. But the pizza in the standard dish takes twice that time. Look at the base here. It's still not as crisp, whereas this one, the base, is nice and cooked. Time now for Ryan and Emma to see if they can taste the difference. It's as if they can smell the pizzas already. Here come my takeaway guinea pigs. Hello! Hello. These guys definitely love pizza, but will they prefer my cheats version cooked on the steel? Oh, it's cheesy. So they are exactly the same recipe, but they have been cooked differently. I prefer this one, definitely. Why? It's more doughy. Yeah. I just think it's more flavoursome. I'm trying to put my sort of like a wood-fired pizza. This yeah. tastes very... OK. Yeah. Yeah, this tastes very wood-fired. This is like an all. oven one. You are bang on. Really? Yes. You're both bang on. Really? Would you be happy with that pizza? Yeah. I think, again, if this came in a Domino's box, I probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference, apart from the crust. Yeah. Whereas that one, that's more like a supermarket pizza, like yeah. a frozen pizza. So let me tell you what's going on here. This one, the one that tastes a bit like a supermarket pizza, like you yeah. said, yeah. is cooked on one of these, just a pizza pan. Now, the one that you both liked, I used a secret weapon. And I'll show you what it is. This is a baking steel. As you can tell, it's very heavy and yeah. it's extremely hot. So what you do is you put this in your oven, yeah. you whack it to the top temperature, up on the high shelf, and what happens is that is so hot that it cooks your base, which is what you like and said it was doughy, because yeah, it gave delicious. the dough a chance to rise because it's been cooked from the bottom, whilst the grill is melting everything above. Yeah, we well, used to buy one of them. Yeah, that seems like a, a must-have. It's a really useful thing to have because you can get heats that you're not going to be able to achieve unless you're in a professional kitchen. If that's made you hungry for a takeaway, then the following tips can help you get more slices for less. When ordering your weekend treat, it's worth bearing in mind that larger pizzas are almost always better value than smaller sizes. For example, a large 13 and a half inch pepperoni pizza at one takeaway chain is only two pounds more than a medium 11 and a half inch, but you get nearly 30% more pizza. So, if you're ordering with friends or want two separate pizzas, then it works out cheaper to get a large and split it. You can even go half and half on the toppings. Many pizza providers will offer heavily discounted meals using promotions, so look out for these. For example, this deal at $28.99 can save you a whopping £26.35 off an order of pizzas and sides with drinks and a dessert. That's nearly half price across the whole order. Thank <laughs> you.